The rings of power has failed. We all knew it was going to happen, however, we now have data to back us up. And to silence the people who said, oh no, you're just haters, you're just grifters, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, the show is great, we love it, we love everything about it. Good day, ladies and gents, my name is Hiozo and I'm Disgusting. And today we're going to discuss something that we all knew was going to happen. The inevitable recorded downfall of Rings of Power. Now, this video is not just going to be me discussing the numbers that we now have for the show's uh, core performance for the season 2 but I'm going to give you my opinion on why exactly this show failed and what are the things that could have been avoided to at least make the show watchable in order to kick this video off I'm just going to go straight to the news article from that park place which is new news and data reveals the rings of power total minutes watch declined by over 26 percent as head of Amazon attempts to spin show as a success. And now we see data tracking firm Nielsen released new data that shows watch time for the Rings of Power season 2's third week on its top 10 charts declined by over 26% as Jennifer Soki, the head of Amazon MGM Studios, attempted to spin the shows as a success. And we see uh, down here a snippet from the top 10 streaming Nielsen charts. And if you don't believe this to be true, I have it here, which is on their website live. And we see the Rings of Power is in fifth place with 747 million minutes watched. Are you going to say 747 million minutes watched? That's not bad. And you might be right in different circumstances, but there's some things that we have to remember about this show is that this show has currently cost well over a billion dollars to make and it has two seasons that are completely released and there is a decline in the minutes watched instead of what was to be expected an increase because when normally a show is good you would expect that the next season will have a general increase in viewership because word of mouth got around reviews were sent out more people got interested in the show and decided to give it a, a go for the second season but no this is a 26 percent decline and while 747 million minutes is not something small as a number it is a minuscule number for what this show was supposed to make in the minds of its creators and when you see that snippet and we see that even family guy which is, has been on the air for forever and it's something that people watch in their spare time even that show uh, had more watched minutes even though it has 433 episodes it's still something very very disturbing for the showrunners to see and if that's not enough for you we can see that uh, series like rebel rich and the perfect couples who are at the top two spaces had more than twice the watch minutes of the rings of power with uh, in the case of the perfect couple only six episodes and if that's not something that uh you would consider troubling then uh, you can see further down the line and we see the eighth ninth and tenth place which are shows that are actually pretty old especially prison break which yeah it has 90 episodes but it only has less than 150 watch minutes in millions viewed and that show is over a decade old the article continues, as noted by X user, now it's known, not only is the show now seeing a decline week over week, but it is also another piece of evidence that many people abandoned the show during the first season, which is true. The retention uh, percentage was 37% from the beginning until the end of season one. The first season's fifth episode was able to bring in 988 million minutes watched. Season two's numbers are a decline of 24-3% compared to season one and in the midst of it jennifer soki uh, is continuing to hold the narrative that the show is a success and i'm sure that she's going to hold that narrative because first of all her job depends on uh, her saying those things and second of all they never would show weakness of the show and would never just say yeah we were wrong they're too proud of it and they're too invested in uh this show especially in terms of money and in terms of uh destroying tolkien's work uh, in order to just admit that they were wrong 
Soke was asked how have you found the reactions to season 2? She responded, obviously very different in marking levels, yada yada yada, but that said, over 55 million people at this point have engaged since season 2 launched. And I just want to scroll down just a bit to this section uh, in which financial analyst Valent Renegade questioning her use of the term engaged rather than using standard metric of views or watch time. He wrote on X engage. What the fuck does that mean? I smell BS here. We all do uh, smell BS because having people engaged with the show doesn't mean anything you have official hashtags for the show on twitter and x you have people who have reviewed the show you have people who yeah they saw the show and you also have people who have simply talked about the show and just mentioning the name that is engagement however there are a lot of posts on twitter on, from people that haven't watched the show there are a lot of posts on twitter from people who have that have given up on the show so engagement doesn't really give you the exact numbers it, it it actually doesn't give you even a, a close proximate and when you compare that to the news numbers with the decline percentage being so high you got someone very very actively lying and trying to keep face but enough about that i want to kind of address some of the reasons that the the show failed so spectacularly and we all knew that it was going to fail at a massively and i'm not going to talk about the plot destruction because this is the most obvious and big turn off for all the fans of lord of the rings and everyone who enjoys Tolkien's work i'm going to strictly talk about it in terms of a tv series production wise pacing wise and all the things that i actually talked about my reviews so first of all pacing let us accept that you're going to write your own story. I will, for the sake of this argument, accept that you're willing to write your own story and just dismiss everything that Tolkien said about certain events, uh, timelines, certain characters, and so on. Okay, you, you can have your original take on Gilad, your original take on Sauron, whatever. You still have the stories, and even if you pervert them for your own liking, you still have the pacing of the stories. And that's something that you don't, need to pervert in order to keep it up and, and, and if you just kept with the timeline in at least an understandable manner meaning not compressing events that have taken in many cases hundreds of years even thousands of years and just pushing them down to a span of a few days you will have had at least not such a grievous viewing experience on that part second of all choosing your actors now i have said in my uh, season review of the rings of power that actually uh, charlie vickers is someone who i actually enjoyed seeing what he does with the character he is giving the character was awful however what he was given as a script and as a way to present his character charlie vickers did with that information and with those resources did a great job at acting that's what he should have been doing and he did it good what's worse however is that he was pretty much the only one aside from maybe during the fault who actually did a good job with his character everyone else was out of place he didn't even present their parts in a good way maybe calabrimbor's actor touched a bit on that performance but everyone else was so horribly miscast on every level that is just laughable at this point especially galadriel i have no issues with morfitt clark none so ever she might be an awesome actress i haven't seen her anywhere and i'm not going to talk about her acting abilities what i'm going to talk about is her portrayal of galadriel i know she was given uh this warrior type angry girl boss script however you need to have the presence for it or at least at the very least the tv series should have present you in a more demanding manner for your role in every sense of the word it, it was like seeing a chihuahua barking in that tv series and that's exactly how it felt too but the cast itself it's not is not even the biggest issue what the biggest issue in my opinion apart from the lore desecration is that almost nobody seemed to be into it i mean yeah they were paid but almost nobody tried to pull in a the performance that they should have put in if you play whatever scene 
from the original trilogy and uh, the rings of power you'll see that there's just no spirit put into the performance of these actors and i can give you an, a concrete example remember one of the things that uh, i talked about about i think it was episode six i don't remember anymore where tom bombadil basically butchered some of uh, tree beards lines regarding the tree scene where it swallowed the hobbits in the original trilogy so tree beard was a CGI voice acted being and the lines he presented there were done in a way that they were deep they were put into with a great amount of passion as in every line in the Lord of the Rings trilogy whereas Tom Bombadil was like dig deep go to sleep you should not be waking and it was just like reciting lifelessly through a book without any sort of passion for what you are uh, there to do. And in my opinion, if those issues were at least not present, it could have made for a slightly passable series. You would still have the Lord Desecration, but at least it would have felt that the people who are trying to do that have the passion and truly, truly feel passionate about it as they claim they do. The biggest issue of the Rings of Power was that it was lifeless. It was worse than an AI generated movie. It, it didn't have any soul to it any spark that you could at least see in the overall performance and if that had existed at least you would have had some uh, people who are not explicitly fans of Lord of the Rings or that's such big fans that could probably uh, give this show a pass anyway even with the Lord of Secretion and just made for a semi pleasurable viewing experience just viewing it in terms of just acting and what is being uh, presented to you on the screen and just turning your, your mind off from the Lord like I try to do while watching this series. And all of this just shows what I've been saying for several videos now that money cannot buy you success. They cannot. You can put as much money in this show, in any other show, it would still not guarantee you success if you don't have the true passion and gather people and gather them for the right reasons and do what you want to do for the right reasons. The whole trilogy of the Rings of Power cost a third of what the show has currently spent on its making and it's the greatest trilogy of all time and it still holds up to this day and it does so because it was made with the utmost passion from everyone involved. It had people learning Elvish, it had people learning how to fight and how to ride horses, it had people acting even though they were in real pain, it had people actually giving advice on how to act in certain situations and every fan who has watched the trilogy and know the story behind what I'm talking about will know exactly what I'm referencing but in the end you had people with passion and if the show had passion even with the the road the road that it is taking it would have been i dare say better than it is now however it might be for the good that it turned out this way because this show does not deserve to exist at all because when we return to that thing that i have been trying not to talk about throughout this entire video the lore then you have something that is so disgraceful and so disrespectful that it makes this show worthy only of one thing and that is to be thrown in into the pits of mount doom and burned to the core and that's what i think will eventually happen those declining rates will continue to decline even further and i think that if season three ever releases it will have less viewership than any other tv series be it good or bad uh, at the time we all just have to wait and see. Anyways, that's all I had for today. Thank you for watching this video. Follow me on my socials. Press the like and subscribe button uh, on my channel to see more of my content. Click the join button and become a disgusting enthusiast and support me directly. Or go to my Patreon page and support my cause for providing for homeless animals and animals in shelters. Thank you. I have been Helzo. This was disgusting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and stay fresh.